the seven of swords futility um, similar it's lighter color to the six of swords and can you see the um, the swords there have the planetary uh, symbols on them yes they do yeah they do okay so we have the seven planets on the swords tips of the swords next sack in the suit of swords does not represent such catastrophe as in the other suits so remember the sevens the seven of wands Balia, which is sort of like every man for himself you know the whole kind of thing is collapsing and the eight of the eights you know next um, indolence and the whole kind of thing of everything just kind of collapsing falling apart so there's a modifying influence so in other words he's saying that the decadence of the moon in Aquarius is stronger in influence than the position on the tree of life the intell intellectual wreckage of the card is thus not so vehement as in the five because we're on that side of the tree of life there is vacillation a wish to compromise a certain toleration but in certain circumstances the results may be more disastrous than ever because that depends upon the success of the policy probably appeasement in this case um, which is fresh in Crowley's mind um, that happened just before the start of the Second World War England was trying to keep Germany kind of happy until Germany invaded Poland and then the whole thing went off there is always in doubt as long this is always in doubt as long as the is there exist violent uncompromising forces which take it as a natural prey Again, we are kind of in this area of the appeasement, the British government's appeasement before the start of the Second World War with the violence of Germany. And he says this card like the four suggests the policy of appeasement. It's not gonna work, it's weak. It's you know, only bad things have come out of appeasement. It, it encourages the bullies. The symbol shows six swords with their hilts in crescent formation. These sort their points meet below the centre of the card, impinging upon a blade of a much lighter upthrusting sword, as if there were a contest between the many feeble and the one strong. He strives in vain. Yeah, it's it's you know these these weak people you know they just get in the way. Oh, well, we need to find this out. Or maybe we need to check this out. And should we you know this? And the guy say, no, let's do it. And it's, like, it's the weight of all those people dithering and faffing about to stop anything really happening. It gets worse because now we're going to swap over to the intellectual side, the Eight of Swords, which is interference. 